Okay, let's take the next question now from section 2 which includes multiple correct type questions. Let P and Q be distinct points on the parabola y square equals 2x such that a circle with PQS diameter passes through the vertex O of the parabola. Right, if P lies in the first quadrant and the area of the triangle OPQ is 3 root 2 square units, then which of the following is or are the coordinates of the point P? Four options are given after that. Let us start it. A parabola y square equals 2 x. Two points are taken P and Q and this is the diameter for a circle which is passing through the vertex O. So, clearly triangle is right triangle at point O. When any chord subtends a right angle at its vertex, we have the formula T1, T2 equals minus 4 where the points are a t 1 square 2 a t 1, a t 2 square 2 a t 2. For this parabola y square equals 2 x, we can take general points t 1 square by 2 comma t 1 as 4 a equals 2 giving me a equals half, point q as t 2 square by 2 comma t 2. It is given point p is in the first quadrant, so t 1 is positive, obviously t 2 will become negative in this case. Now, it is saying given that the area of the triangle OPQ is 3 root 2. So, let us find the area of the triangle OPQ. Area of triangle OPQ, this is half 0, 0, 1, T1 square by 2, T1, 1, T2 square by 2, T2, 1 and the modulus of the entire term. Right. This gives me on simplification 1 multiplied with t1 square t2 by 2 minus t2 square t1 by 2. So, entire term can be divided by 2. This area is equal to 3 root 2 taking t1 t2 common and substituting t1 t2 as minus 4 we have modulus of t1 minus t2 is 3 root 2 since it is given that t1 is positive so obviously t2 will be positive or negative but less than t1 but as we look at this figure clearly t2 is negative we can write this term without modulus t1 minus t2 is 3 root 2 as this quantity is definitely positive correct now, looking for the term T1 plus T2 this time, we can write plus minus both T1 minus T2 whole square that is 18 plus 4 into T1 T2 that is minus 4 giving me plus minus root 2. Let us take equation 2. When we take positive sign on adding these two, we get 2 T1 is equal to 4 root 2 correct. So, this gives me T1 is equal to 2 root 2 or if I take negative sign then we get 2 T1 is equal to 2 root 2 that is T1 is equal to this time root 2. So, substituting this value of T1 in point P we can say when root 2 is substituted this gives me 2 by 2 that is 1 comma root 2 correct and when 2 root 2 is substituted it is 8 by 2 that is 4 comma 2 root 2. So, there are two possibilities for this question one is 1 comma root 2 other is 4 comma 2 root 2. Looking at the given options we see option A and D are correct. So, this was solution for the question this is clear let us move to the next one that is question number 50. Okay, let us try question number 50 from differential equation. 
let y of x be a solution of the differential equation 1 plus e to the power x into dy by dx plus y into e x is equal to 1. If y of 0 is equal to 2, then which of the following statements is or are true? Four options are given after that. So, let us analyze the given differential equation first. We have two options. One, we can clearly see on dividing by 1 plus e x, it is in the form of linear differential equation, which can be solved by finding its integrating factor and simplifying. Or we can also look at it like 1 plus e x into d y plus y e x into d x is equal to d x. Or this is d of y into 1 plus e x is equal to d x. Because on differentiating this one, we can see it is 1 plus e x into d y plus y into derivative of 1 plus e x that is simply e to the power x into d x. That is 1 plus e x into y is equal to x plus constant of integration. Also given to me the initial value condition y of 0 is equal to 2. So, on substituting x equals since y of 0 is 2, therefore, 2 into 2 is equal to 0 plus c. So, c comes 4. Rewriting the given equation, we get x plus 4 upon 1 plus e x as y of x. The solution for this equation for the given particular condition, correct. Now, from the options, y of minus 4 clearly it is 0 when you substitute x equals minus 4 in this equation it goes to 0. Second is wrong because on substituting minus 2 it is not 0. Third and fourth are talking about critical point in the interval minus 1 comma 0. So, we need derivative. Let us differentiate it dy by dx is 1 plus e x into 1 minus x plus 4 into e x divided by 1 plus e x whole square. If I find derivative at 0, we see it is 1 plus 1 that is 2 minus 4 upon 2 square which is negative. Right? If I look at the derivative at minus 1, I observe it is 1 plus e to the power minus 1 minus 3 into e to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus e to the power minus 1 whole square. So, it is 1 minus 2 upon e that is a positive number. So, we can clearly see that the derivative at 0 is negative while at minus 1 it is positive. So, it has a critical point in the interval minus 1 to 0. So, option C is correct, right. Let us move to the next one.